almost nothing. This is when everything starts happening at once. Making a carbonara. Yin's down here making a carbonara. Welcome back to Chaos Kitchen. Today we're making a carbonara. Getting down. It is the middle of August and I figured what better way to cool my house down than to boil water and put my stove on. Um, I have made a carbonara once before. I don't really know how to make it. How hard can it be? Sorry, Italian people. Typically, I'll also make pasta if I'm feeling up to it. I just can't today. <laughs> I'm too tired. So I'm using a Trader Joe's quinoa pasta because I hate myself. This is gonna be a bit of a modified carbonara. I'm not just doing the white sauce. I'm gonna add tomatoes and onions as well. So the basic flow is to just cook your tomatoes up to make your sauce, add that to the pasta, and then add a bit of the pasta water to the eggs and put that in at the end with some pepper. I also literally don't have cheese, so I'm about to pop these firecrackers. Don't pop them on me. We also have a new guest on the channel today. After all, Spritz has entered the chat. Stunning. We're gonna start in our sauce, add the garlic in first, then we're going tomatoes low and slow for a long time until they break down. I'm gonna add the tomatoes in. If you have grape cherries, you can basically just throw the entire thing in and it'll eventually break down. Because mine are a little bit bigger, I'm gonna cut them into smaller chunks to give them some space to absorb some heat and break down in a quicker time. Your eggs have to have expired at least a month ago or else you can't use them, it just won't work. I don't remember the exact measurement for the eggs. I think it's two, four eggs and two yolks, maybe? I should probably look that up. Okay, so I had it wrong. Two large eggs, four egg yolks. I'm pretty happy with how much my tomatoes have cooked down at this point, so I'm gonna add the onions in to cook with those as well. Typically, it doesn't actually matter when you cook your pasta because you can just hold it in a colander until you're ready, but with this, because you're adding the pasta sauce to the eggs at the end, you have to time them so that your sauce is done about the same time as your pasta. So I'm gonna put the pasta in now. I think I'm about eight minutes out from my sauce being done, and then we'll start with the rest. I'm also gonna add some mushrooms to my sauce. Um, last time I ate these, I threw up, so really just gambling with my health at this point. Typically with a carbonara, you're adding a Parmesan cheese to the eggs. I don't have any cheese except this mozzarella log, so I'm gonna add that. Hopefully it's okay. My pasta has a minute left. I'm gonna add my mushrooms to the sauce. I'm gonna get my area ready to collect some pasta water. You want about a quarter cup. Um, this is when everything starts happening at once. If you've never collected pasta water before, a good, a good way to go is to put a measuring cup in the sink and then put your colander over top of it and then just pour it in there. Forgot I had this thing actually. My colander wasn't sitting on my measuring cup and I was panicking. I just put boiling water on my foot so that's always fun for me. I'm gonna transfer the mixings for the pasta into the bigger dish that I was cooking the actual pasta in, just so I have some more room to work with. And then I'm gonna add my pasta water to the eggs. This is where it becomes a bit of an art because you don't wanna add it too fast or else you'll cook your eggs and you don't want scrambled eggs in your pasta. And so you wanna add it very slowly, which is hard for me because I like to get things done very quickly. And I'm just slowly pouring the pasta water in until the eggs get to a creamy consistency. Spill pasta water all over your counter. I feel like I just added way too much water, but I'm gonna try not to freak out. One of the centerfolds of carbonara is pepper. I at least have that, so I'm gonna add as much as I can to here before my arm starts getting tired. That actually <laughs> turned out creamy, and I'm so relieved. <laughs> if that was watery, I would have started crying. I think we're about done here. I'm gonna add some finishing touches of a balsamic vinaigrette and basil and call it a day. This is a pretty easy way to make pasta that is creamy and has some interest to it. I know mine is not traditional at all with the tomatoes and onions added or really anything <laughs> that's in it. Um, but it is still a great dish. I think the texture on this pasta is so nice. I think the flavor is great. This was a carbonara, or at least my take on a carbonara, but you